Uh, so this is Ruth Simmons, who big presence. She was fantastic. Went around to every entity on campus and asked not to say what here's what you should do, but what do you think Smith should be doing in your area? And so I and Symbolist and Lester Little, three of us, wrote a proposal for a liberal arts institute. And we sent it in, and to our great delight, she she said she liked the idea and would look for some money for it. And Louise Wolf Kahn, who was a character beyond what I can tell you, <laughs> <laughs> but had a good heart, <laughs> uh, had, had let be a bequest to the college for faculty development. And Ruth put two and two together, and that's how the contest started. Mm -hmm. And we started off with a, uh, a year on Galileo, discovery of the planet, the Copernican system. And then things just took off like yourself. People submitted mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful proposals. They and, still do. Yeah. <laughs> and we had a great committee that would vet the proposals and work with them to approve them. And we had great people working, you know, faculty. And then Rick, where did you go, Rick? Said, you said, there you are. Okay. So we worked with Rick for a long time. And then when I stepped down from being the, the director, Rick took over. And you want to say? I have nothing to say other than <laughs> I love that I don't know a lot of people here. Yeah, that do. means yeah. something yeah. to me that there's been a sort of a not a turnover, but there's yeah a turnover. My time at the kind of school was a sort of for me it was really momentous. You know, yeah. Um, there was a budget. The budget <laughs> allowed us to be as creative as possible. I, I think that's harder now. It's a little harder. So yeah. those who are running the kind of student now should be sort of lauded for that. Um, they're working with less, and yet the projects seem to be as dynamic and interesting as they always have been. So that's a huge thing. Um, I love the fact that there's a new building. It was in the library before. Uh, it was a lovely space. I think Marjorie, when they talked about it, wanted it to be in the library, to be in the center of intellectual life. It kind of became an important fixture and institutionalized in some important ways. And it sort of allowed the con to move over and migrate to this right. lovely spot. Um, exactly right. I'm not sure if it's large enough. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it's well, it's well designed. And, but it was an important part of my intellectual trajectory. Yeah. And I obviously it's an important part of others' intellectual yeah. trajectory. And I'm really happy for that. I'd like to add one thing to this. Went to, I went to the University of Chicago. And there was a great book still at that time. And we read all the great books. Of all the great thinkers of the past. As I went along in life, I began thinking that's the wrong way to do education. Mm -hmm. It's not great books, it's great problems. You call on about every field to solve the great problems, the great problems of society and the human race. And this, this is Smith's way of people look at the problems that interest them and bring together all the people from different, all over the campus to work on them. And I think it's so pleased to see this here. This is, yeah. Uh, thank you both so much. Cheers. I would just say, you know, that it's been a real pleasure being the interim director. I feel, I feel like my uh, greatest achievement is that I've handed it off to Suzanne Gottschang. Thank you. The right person at the right time. But I, I, I think that the, the thing that happens here is the liberal arts in, in sort of its purest form, where you're in a room with people from geosciences, mm -hmm. economics, anthropology, art history, good lord. Uh, <laughs> and you're working on a problem yeah. or a thought or an idea and it's it can be magical yeah. uh, and, it, and intense. Yeah. And it's also a place where people make friends, make relationships, make collaborations that go forward for years. So thanks for coming everybody. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to cut the cake. <laughs> and it's going to come back.